Welcome. Let's do uh, let's do another run. For those on YouTube, I will put this up there uh, as you're now watching this probably. But uh, we'll have the face cam. I don't think you'll have any audio from the alerts and stuff if I do it correctly. Um, and yeah, welcome. So let's go. Oh my god, hats on. I'm gonna. I won't be able to lose track of this. How many points do some of you guys have? Dr tell me what your point balances are like right now. Hats off. <laughs> One billion. Twenty-one thousand. <laughs> okay, I should. I should maybe change my. Uh, I should maybe change my hat points. Just take it easy on me, okay? I gotta focus on the game. I gotta win. We've got to win. Saving up for puppy pets. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, so we're going to go Umbra. I guess we'll go like, we'll do a random uh, secondary clan. And we're at Covenant rank four. So minor bosses have increased attack. This is my first time doing rank four. We'll see. We'll see. Got the hydrate in there. I'll try. I'll, I'm going to try to keep up with the redemptions. I'll try my best. Okay, let's begin. We do have a Dexter Walter cam set up, but uh, they're currently upstairs, so. Okay, so we're allied with the uh, red dudes. That's nice. Uh, the boss is Seraph. Temper the strength of your unit, so sap. That's fine. Uh, we've got packed morsels. This is good. I like this card. Um, piercing. This is fine. And descending friendly and enemy units. I think we just... If I'm not mistaken, in today's video that you will see after the stream, we just unlocked this. So, yeah. If my face cam is in the way of stuff, let me know. If you know, like, if you have a suggestion on where to put it, I will move it for you, okay? But I, I don't know if it's going to be blocking too much in this location. Hey, cooler. Okay. <sighs> so... This is cool and all. Put it top left over the numbers. <laughs> I don't I don't know. I don't think that's going to work. Let me see. Do I need to move it, you guys? Like, actually? Because I will. I will. What if I just put it up here? That's going to mess up what? Let's just put it here for now. We'll see what happens. Okay, so the problem here is, like, I really love Trample, obviously. Um, the issue, though, is that this takes up four spots if we go this way. If I put this one in, we get additional spots for, like, Morsels and other enemies, or and other uh, dudes. So I think we just take this one for now. If 92 hours in the game, I don't know what UI is where. <laughs> That's good. Am I missing something, or is Trample just worse Sweep? Well, typically Sweep is on uh, lower uh, attack cards. So, like, unless you upgrade a card to get it, you're gonna, you're not gonna see cards with Sweep with like 30 attack or whatever. Uh, what do we have here? 20 attack. That's just not gonna happen. Um, but Trample, you're gonna see with higher attack because then it like decreases the further along the the enemy. Um, uh, squad goes. At the start of a turn, add a common or uncommon morsel unit to your hand, or summon abilities trigger an additional time. Now check this out. This summon ability could be really nice here, because we get plus four capacity, and we get to play this literally every start of uh, of a round. Or not a round, of a uh, battle. This is good too, though. But we have a lot of other ways to add these cards for, like, for cheap, right? So I think we're going to take uh, Ashes of the Fall in here. And we'll just get, like, massive capacity on that first uh, first floor. Then that means we can feed additional morsels and so on and so forth. Okay. So if we want to take this challenge, spikes of three is how annoying. We have 15 health. Hmm. 15 health. Spikes of three. I think we could do it. Spikes are my mortal enemy. I hate them. I hate spikes. I, I, because it's hard for me to like, it, it's hard for me to 
calculate them. Okay, so we're gonna throw this dude in. Now we should get an ass load of uh, space, which is nice. I'm gonna torch this dude. And if I wanna be feeding this guy, then I'm gonna put these dudes in behind. This still gives us morsel spots and he almost dies. We can kill him on this round, hopefully. Yeah, and Vinny, that's true too. Like on these first rounds, even if you screw up heavily, your pyre is still generally just gonna win. Okay, let's go. Let's consume this, actually. Let's get our boy big. Let's get him big. So we go damage shield here. Oh man. Today's video, I actually I'm really proud of it. When you guys watch it. We I don't want to spoil too much. But let's just say that damage shield got out of control. Like out of control. It was sick. It was it was the coolest synergy I've had so far. I won't, I won't say anything else, but I'm a huge fan. I'm a huge fan. Uh, we do... <laughs> we do have a little bit of a problem. Thank you so much, Inspector. Appreciate that. Um, is today's video my first number run? Yes. This is This right now that you're watching is my second Umbra run. Okay, so the problem is... Uh, this guy is going to die unless I ditch this thing, which I think I will. But I also kind of want to kill this. Yeah, okay, we can we can do both. We can do both. Let's go here. I could kill off this one. I could train steward here to get this kill and then pierce this one to get that kill. Let this happen and feed morsels, right? I think that's the play. And we're going to go with the damage shield and some healing. And I, I you know what? I'll put this up here. We'll we'll feed this dude. Why not? He's hungry. New faction, yes. This is uh, Umbra. So there's still a faction to unlock, which we'll get to, right? Uh, okay. Oh, yeah. Zero attack morsels. That's actually a really good point, Smurry, because of the spikes. Yeah, I didn't even... I didn't consider that, actually. I did not consider that. Let's go here. We're going to feed even more. A life steal's really nice. Now... If I give him lifesteal right now, does that expire by the next turn? Or will he get that? No, he'll get that on the next turn. Which will be really good. Very, very helpful. Let's go another damage shield here. We'll do a lifesteal so that when he attacks, he gets um, a little bit stronger. And then we'll maybe go damage shield up top here. So that this attack gets blocked. He still takes some spike damage. Actually, we don't even need to. Do this. And then... I guess I'm going to play this. It'll give us more energy. We'll feed him. This whole morsel thing I love. But it, you'll see in today's video that... Uh, <laughs> when, when I first got these cards, I was like... It's, it's a whole different way of playing. You don't even... It's bizarre. It's bizarre. Okay. So we're dealing 101 here. He does have the life steal, but it's apparently not quite enough. Let's torch this guy. And then that should take us to the win. Some people ask, like, why do I play all these cards when I don't need to when we already have the win? Uh, I don't know. Just for fun. Don't tell, but maybe you had the double gorge relic. Uh, yes, I did. But not till the very end. But when I did get it, it was disgusting. 
It was disgusting. And it was it was awesome. Like the best kind of disgusting. Okay, Morsel Miner. So this is a card I just unlocked yesterday. And basically, this will give me something that gives plus five, plus five. The Antumbra Assault, deal three damage. If you slay it, add two uncommon or rare morsels to your hand. I actually like this. It's targeted. This Perils of Production, you're going to see in today's video as well. Um, I have a hard time figuring out when to use this. I typically only use this, like, during the boss, um, during the boss fight. I'm going to try this one, though. Ascend a unit I like a lot. I'm a sucker for these. Anytime I can, like, overstuff a floor, I'm happy. Now, do we want another Umber unit or do we want a Hellhorn unit? Because we have so much capacity, I'm tempted to go with, with uh, Hellhorn. Then we can upgrade some of our uh, unit powers as well. Boom. I like this. Now, the, the problem is, early, right now, the problem is that I can't play it. I might I might be able to upgrade this, though, to drop its cost. I'm going to take it. I'm going to take it. <laughs> this is this is a pretty good one, actually. I know it takes up a ton, but like, if, OK, think about this. Think about this. If we get to duplicate this card, we have this upgrade that makes it like uh, take up a lot of space, which is fine, especially if we start ascending and descending units. Plus, we get the extra space uh, on the first floor or whatever floor we want, really, wherever we play our champion. Um, but I think what I would do is is upgrade this and then, oops, and then do like a reroll and try to find like a minus energy, you know? Frozen on Ember Drain cards is awesome. Why is that? Don't think you can decrease cost on units, can you? Isn't there? Or maybe you can only decrease cost on... Um, maybe you can only decrease cost on spells. Oh, okay. Okay. So it is just spells. Okay, good to know. That saves me uh, some gold here. If I do this, I'm like kind of all in with that guy. But then if I could duplicate it, maybe I could get the cavern where I can make like five copies. And then I'd have to take the ember upgrade later. It's a little bit risky. <laughs> but uh, you know what they say, you don't make friends with salads. So let's go. Let's go. Reroll for multi-strike. Eh. Okay, 10 armor. Uh, on resolve, add a sinister burden card to the top of your draw pile. So you have to scourge. 40. With 10 armor. So the problem is that, A, I can't play this dude yet. Right? So I... That's a bit of a problem. And these guys aren't getting through that. This dude is maybe, maybe getting through. He could kill this one, but he couldn't kill this one. This will this would be a pretty big problem. What do you guys think? Can we do the trial? We do have some piercing cards. We do have some piercing cards. That's possible. Let's go. Even if we royally screw this up, I think that the pyre can probably uh, hold its own. Hey, what's up, Skydiver? Of course. Okay. Let's go here. Um... I can't slay this, unfortunately. I can still use it to deal some damage. Now, if I play this, it's going to get uh, destroyed. So I think what I might do is put it up here. Actually, no, it wouldn't get destroyed, would it? Because this is the one. Is it this guy who would hit him? Have I tried some Nautica in VR? No, I haven't. 
Oh, no. I just want to see how this plays out. Let's see. I'm going to deal... Uh... I guess we're just going to play these. Because why not? Oh, they added a super ultra. That's new. Yeah, okay, my bad. For some reason, I thought he was going to attack the, the second rank there, but... I still... I still have trouble visualizing how the attacks are going to go down. Remove from your deck for the rest of the run. Yeah, I mean, I should... I should get rid of that. I should get rid of it. Let's go uh, top floor here for the gold. Then... Let's see what we get here. Eater gains attack. And healing. I'll put... Uh, I'm gonna... Let's put these two down here. Should I put the train steward down there as well? Let's do that. Takes him pretty low. Is Chris beef stacking again? I, I don't have beef in this deck yet. But uh, I always try to. I try to. <laughs> these are going to become... This, these are going to become a pretty big problem. Yep. These are going to become a pretty big problem. Uh, we're going to take a little bit of damage up top. It's not the end of the world. If I can get these this guy to under 20, though, that would be quite helpful. Or 20 or less. So let's put this in. I guess we'll feed the big boy. And then I can purge both of these. Purge means it gets removed from the deck forever. Yeah. And we're getting these cards added because of these little dudes. So. Okay. We're only doing 42 here, which is like not great. And too bad we didn't get this. I guess we could go like we could descend these. If we descend all of this, uh, that might buy us, buys us a little bit of time, but it's still not enough to really deal with this guy. Our pyre is going to have to take some heat here, for sure. I could, I could, I guess, play this, ascend our Penumbra champion, and then feed him these, this morsel. I don't, I don't think that's going to make a huge deal. So you're losing cards from your deck. Yeah, these ones, but these are bad cards because they don't do anything. These are Scourge cards that these dudes are adding. Um, and it's basically just cluttering our deck with stuff that we have to play once, which is basically draining us of Ember. So, you know. I'm going to drop these dudes. And then we'll do uh, this. Damage shield, sure. I'm not going to play it here because it won't matter. What's up, Percy? I'm okay with my Pyre taking some uh, taking some damage early for the challenges because um, the gold helps us long term. I can kill these two, actually. Let's get rid of these. I can purge one. And then we're pretty much just like our pyre is is uh, is going to take <laughs> quite a bit of damage. Actually, our pyre is going to be hurting. There's not even a point in me playing this card because he just kills him anyway. So I may as well just put some damage in. I'm going to do the purge too.
That's rough. That is a really rough start. Pretty, pretty rough. Pretty, pretty bad. Okay. The damage shield is good. Uh, we are going to upgrade Ember because we want to be able to play our big fatty. We just have to make it there. And so if we have extra Ember for this too, that's kind of nice. Plus we could buff this spell later to make it like two times. Should be good. Hmm. This isn't bad, but I feel like we have capacity on that bottom floor already. Let's go here. I don't know if I want any of these. This one's not bad. This one's not bad. This has a summon, which goes with our uh, with our trinket. But do I really do I do I want this? Maybe. Let's try it. Morsel Maker, I love. I love the Morsel Maker. But Morsel Maker is actually sick. I love it. I think we're gonna we're gonna do this. We're gonna do the Morsel Maker. These ones are nice for I don't know. This might be a bad decision, but I'm gonna take it anyway. What's up, Renoma? Thanks so much, man. Buttercup as well. Thank you, Alacrad, Light Coon, Zeratul. Thank you guys so much. Appreciate it. Morsel Maker plus Morsel Doubler behind a Gorger. Yeah, buddy. Okay, I, I pretty much have to go this route, unfortunately. But uh, let's go Pyre Health. I'm going to hit the Cavern first. Maybe we'll get something juicy. If we pull out this run, I'll be shocked. I'll be very surprised. Okay, we've had this we've had this option trigger before. So we get to inspect a pile. Playing so we get this artifact where if you play a blight card, it deals 100 damage to the front enemy unit. We have 3 of these that we would get. They cost 3, but it's a lot of damage obviously. Um I can't do anything with this dead weight card from the covenant. And I think we got rid of all the other ones that we were getting from the other units. When summoned, friendly units get plus one attack for every blight card in your deck. So we gain three of these and we have four. So our, our units would get four attack. It's not bad. But then we've got four of these cards in our deck that we can't play. Or this one, uh, when you play your first Blight card each turn, restore five Pyre health. I might have to do this, actually. I think this is our way to come back. Because even worst case scenario where we can't play it, our Pyre takes one damage. But if we can play it, we get five. I feel like that's a pretty good trade-off compared to these others. I don't love to be in that position, but uh, you know what? Th that's the position that we're in. Ooh, hydration time. Thanks, Duffley. Okay. Now. <laughs> what card do we want to duplicate here? This is actually a, a really tough decision. <laughs> we could duplicate a shard, but uh, long term, I don't know if that's how we win the game. Maybe Morsels, maybe Morsel Maker. I, I wouldn't mind duplicating Demon Fiend, but I can't even play him yet. After this next run, we get to unlock more Ember. So that would be okay. Train Steward. <laughs> Our Train Stewards might actually be needed here. Or they might be needed. Um, it's a tough call. If there's, I don't think there's like a best answer here. I'm going to duplicate the Morsel Maker. It might, it might be a trap. It might be a trap. Okay, this asshole. Okay. This guy's not fun. Let's be honest. This dude's not a good time. Daedalus shows up to the party and everyone's like, I'm out of here. See you later. One damage to the front enemy on death. Okay. 
could be worse. Now, okay, what I might want to do, considering some of our other cards, right? We've got descend enemy units and we have ascend enemy units. <laughs> ascend. I think I say it weird. Uh, ascend enemy units. So, like, part of me wants to play this on the second floor so we can start, like, manipulating it that way. The problem with that is this dude and these dudes uh, don't die. So... Uh, also, I would have to play Piercing here so that um, he doesn't die. So I gotta kill one. And then, didn't get any lifesteal, unfortunately. But we're going to play all of these. Okay. That's a little problematic. Little problematic. All right. So I think in this scenario... I have to train steward here. I have to go uh, two damage. I have to kill one of these. That ensures that they, well, they don't kill the train steward and we'd then be feeding the train steward. But it's, it's the best of a not great scenario. I could put... Oh, uh, uh, no, I can't. Yeah. I think this might be okay. And even if we lose that train through next round... I mean, it's fine. Vengeful Shard. Okay, so this is a heal for the... This is a heal for the Pyre. If I go damage shield here, then he blocks both of these. Right? And when he blocks both of those, this one then kills him, but it saves our Penumbra champion. Hmm. Or I can put it on him. Does it matter either way? Yeah, I think we put it here. That's fine. And then even if I play this... We probably won't cycle through the whole deck again. These guys do too much damage to place on that floor. I'm going to place this here so we get the lifesteal attack on the next one, which might save them. And then I can place these on our top floor for now and see if we can feed these units uh, later. Because these dudes will just kill them if they go on that floor. Okay, let's roll. Could throw a minion and sacrifice. Yeah, true. That's true. But now with the life steal, uh, this is still a bit of a problem. Still a bit of a problem. Mm. Okay. Okay. Let's think about this. If I if I descend anywhere, I don't think that helps us long term. I think what we do is do the Antumbra Assault to kill one of these. We torch another one. That gets rid of two. Um, and then I might have to train Steward in front to save him. But he is going to heal back from his attack. But he's these guys have such low health that he's not going to uh, he's not going to heal for much, which kind of sucks. Oh, 
It's another life steal for next round, which would be great. I wonder if I should be playing uh, this guy first. Yeah. Okay. Oh, wait. So, Lifesteal... Why is he gaining... Uh, why would he gain 16 from this? He's getting 3 from the from the eating here. But why does he gain 16 health? Hmm. Because he's okay, I'll have to I'll have to watch it play out. Now, this guy is gonna be gone. These two are gonna be gone. I think I torch this dude. Uh do I? I think I torch here. Then I can't take then I can't take this. Maybe I maybe I take this because we're gonna take more damage to the pyre right now. Let this guy live. And then this will give more lifesteal to the um, penumbra, because he'll be gone. And then this one can sit up there again. I don't know. This is a tough one. Not feeling super good about it. Okay. Yummy, yummy. Get in my tummy. I don't see how we're going to beat this. <laughs> I don't know, man. Because this dude, he's going to hit pretty hard. I think I think this run is going to be a short-lived run, for sure. We need to deal six damage here. This could be okay. We get the double, uh, the double rage. So they're gone. Do we even have to worry about this? No, let's move on to another floor. Uh, I can't kill this. Can I do nine? Five, seven. Actually. Oh, that's, yeah, that's not going to do anything. go like so that's uh, that's not good I don't know if killing the bomb actually helps there because we don't gain anything from that floor anyhow final wave well at least we kill this guy we do 116 here <laughs> my excellent morsel maker doesn't help me at all uh, I think we're dead. I think we're dead. Because he'll... He only does, uh... He only needs five attacks to kill our pyre. I'm not sure what we can do here. I think I think we're toast. Can gain some extra energy and hope for the best. Well, we got the fatty and we can play him. 
We can play him. He might save us. He might. Oh, God. He can't go there. I would love to put him there because, uh, well, I guess it doesn't matter. So we take one pyre damage and we just let him go to town, right? He can take 10 attacks. So... The fatty saved us. Uh, that's why I, I love these. I love these big fat dudes all the time. All right. We're just, just holding on by a thread. Just holding on. Uh, double the rage. No, double the armor. No rage and armor. I don't, I don't, I don't want any of these. I don't want any of these. We ditch these. Streamer luck, yeah. Uh, that was all tactically sound, actually. Can you please put the cam to the left so we can see the boss? Oh, yeah, sure. Uh, what's the consensus? Like, I don't know where this can go. How's this? How's this? Is this okay? Okay. Thank you, guys. I think I'm gonna... I don't like any of these. Double the armor for three cost? I barely have any armor. No. I'm out of here. I'm skipping those. Okay. <laughs> these demon fiends are my favorite, man. This is nice. Alpha fiend? This is nice, though. Because we get the gorge... So when he eats, he gets that damage shield. Let me tell you, can get pretty insane. Pretty, pretty insane. Oh, puppy treats? Here, let me hook you up. Uh, we've got these apple, uh, these dried apple crisps. Let's see if I can, can we get that camera? Hey, Walty. Oh, he heard it. Oh, good boy. Thanks, man. Don't forget to buff the bosses. Yeah, thanks. I will. Uh, okay, here's a here's a bit of a concern. Space is a concern. Uh, but, like, I think we have to go Ember, right? This does heal us a bit as well. What's up, Doom Koi? <laughs> Thank you so much. I'm glad that you're enjoying it. Frick, I would love to Vortex here. I would love to Vortex, but I can't. I, we do get an artifact, which I'm a sucker for. Anytime I have to pass up an artifact, I hate it. It's the worst feeling. It's the worst. Let's go, champion. Okay. <laughs> okay. Interesting. Because remember, our summons trigger twice. So we get plus six on that floor. Or we keep the plus four, which is still really great. Uh, our Penumbra takes up four slots of that, though. But he has Trample. And Trample, actually, against those lower enemies that we were running into, would have been huge for us. You can only play seven units, but capacity-wise, uh, you, can, you can fit them in without having to use Ascend or Descend, right? Trample would help. But this... Maybe that's too greedy. Because we still get the plus four, which basically makes him a free slot. Then everything else we can fit in there. I think we'll, we'll try Trample here. You know what this game needs, actually, is a... Um, like a Twitch Plays, like Slay the Spire has, where you guys could, like, vote on the things. Maybe we'll do a run like that, where you guys could decide the cards and the pickups and stuff. This is not bad. Cards with consume can be discarded instead. We have these, which is, you know, they're good. They're good, I guess. But I don't think that's enough. I think we have to take this. This solves a couple of our problems. Fire health is getting back up there. Morsels count as summons. Oh. 
Good point. Okay. Enemy units enter with spell shield of two. That's a bit of a problem because of these guys. That means I would have to cast three spells to kill this one health unit, which really sucks. And we're already limited on spells. And I don't want to have to spend like three ember just to kill one of these guys. So yeah, it's 150 coins, but we already got 400. I think we just try to keep going here. This guy's going to gain plus five attack. I don't... Have I ever fought this dude? Pyrolite Master. Man. That's going to get crazy on the on uh, his, like, actual spawn. Holy frick. Thanks, Tal. Okay. Well, we got, we got the setup already, which is good. Trample's gonna not do a lot here. <laughs> Frick. All right, so I have to I have to torch this dude just to get rid of haste. This is gonna be this. He's gonna get big. He's gonna get big. Yes, he is. Eat up, my precious. This is useless. What's up, viewer 47? Love Witcher 3 series. The background you have on the books is super amazing as a first time player. Good luck with the stream's fits. Thanks, man. Appreciate that. Ooh. 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 Okay. Couple of, uh, couple of options. Okay. Hear me out. Just telling you right now. If I put this dude on this floor, he's going to get damage shield galore. He is going to get damage shield galore, which is huge, especially for when we face that boss, when he's got escalating damage, right? So if I played this card, I won't be able to play... Actually, hold on. Hold on. When you summon the second unit during the turn, you gain three energy. So we can't, well, no, I can't pull it off. I can't summon two things this turn. So if I Crucible Warden in front, uh, these guys are kind of left to their own devices and I can't play the Demon Fiend, which kind of blows, but playing the long game here, I think it might be better. We're not gonna get the gold we might take six damage on the pyre, but we're negating most of that by playing this anyway. And uh, with that damage shield on him, then this guy can hit a lot more too during the boss. I think that I think that's what we do. I think that's how we do it. Let's heal a bit. I can even kill this dude now. Actually, we could kill the gold if we're feeling greedy. Should we kill the gold or should we kill this guy? Eh, let's get the gold. Wait, actually, I might have to kill this dude because of haste. I don't want him going to the top floor. Hmm. The haste. Is this Twitch plays Monster Train? Not yet. But we'll maybe, we'll maybe get there. We'll get there. He is almost dead, so he would take... He would only get one shot at the pyre. Um, but I could kill this guy and prevent six from the pyre. But we might get something next round where I can kill this guy easily anyways. I don't think taking the gold is good here. I think we get rid of this. Well, that's not it. That's not going to do it. We do get extra energy just from these guys triggering now. Is that what's happening there?
I guess I just start feeding our train steward, right? Put him back here. If I give him the rage of three right now... I mean, he would get it too. There we go. 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 And if I play this, I can only play it here. If I play it here, one will die. Might not be terrible. And we'll play both on this floor. Okay. 5,000 years later, no hack? Oh, did I miss a... Did I miss a hack thing? Sorry, man. I'm in the zone! You're damn right, Kaz. <laughs> I'm in the zone right now. I, and you have to be. This game's got a lot going on, dude. A lot going on in this game, okay? Uh, okay. Well. 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 Well, well, well. Uh, adding morsels doesn't help me, so that limits us to just playing these. This is going to heal our pyre quite a bit. This guy needs another 10 damage, which I can't get. Uh, our pyre hits for 30, so... You know. I could kill this to prevent one damage. But I think we just focus down here. Torch this haste. And, like, I could pierce this, but ultimately we still have to chunk through that with the physical attacks anyways. Let's get this guy weak. The game is such a time killer, hard to believe each run's an hour long. Yeah, I, I've got to the point now where, like, um, at least on YouTube, I'm doing a run in about an hour. Which is good. My first ones took really long because you're learning all the new mechanics and stuff. Ooh! This is the one. That's disgusting. Oh, that's so sick. Free damage, whatever. I might want to play a train steward up here. Just, just, I'm just going to play one. Okay. But then I'm going to go uh, six spell shield on this guy. And uh, now he's got nine, which is pretty good. You prioritize on boosting your targetable magic cards a lot, especially X cards like Vent. Look at this. This guy. Who does he think he is? It's not even close. Zap. And just because I can. Now... Uh, something somebody told me before turns out not to be true. When the boss is here, people were saying that, um, the boss fight resolves first. But as we can see, that didn't happen. So I'm not sure where the mix-up is there. Who said it's not going smooth? Well, to be fair, we've, we've got some pretty, uh... We, I think we've made good choices for the situations presented, but... Apply damage shield one and add two uncommon. Add three excavated ember cards. It's a zero cost. You gain two and you draw one. That's kind of nice. What do you guys think about the ember cache? I like it. Is the game a bit loud? Oh, I'll turn it down. How's that? The thing is, we have a lot of ways to gain energy now, especially with the uh, summons coming in. 
Battle resolves top to bottom, but the enemy does not go to the pyre, even if it survives on the third floor. Okay, maybe that's maybe that's the um, maybe that was what was happening. Well, no imps. Return a random consumed spell to your hand. Could work. Could work. And actually, this triggers twice. Yeah, sure. Hey, what's up, Colix? Thanks, man. Thanks, Gearheart as well. And Ghana, thank you so much. Conrad, appreciate it, you guys. Thanks. Ah, uh, well, well, well. Well, well, well. Now, this is a tougher call. If I go over here... Um, we basically get to full pyre health, which is, quite, which is quite nice. Okay. Ooh, I just realized for the first time that you can scroll through here. <laughs> I did not know this. You can see what's coming up in advance the whole time. I had no idea. Video games. Okay. If I go here, we get to almost uh, full pyre health and then we get more coins and we can buy multiple trinkets. If I go over here, we can buff some spells, which like, you know, buffing something like uh, torch or even, where's that other one? Where's the, uh, this one. The Antumbra Assault could be really good. Could be really good. Because if you get this, um, you, you not only get extra damage, you have a higher chance of killing something, but then getting these to trigger the extra ember. But then we're getting it for only one card. Uh, I don't know. That card doesn't come up a lot. I'm going to go this way. I'm going to go this way. Then we can have a selection of trinkets. Uh, summon a morsel miner on each floor? Yes, please. Entering at the Rage of 3 isn't terrible. I mean, obviously. When a card with Consume is played, deal 30 damage to the front enemy unit. We have... Uh... So I'm looking at something like this, right? We play these Morsels. We also get 30 damage. Is that good? This one. It, it has kind of a, an interesting synergy with... Uh... With what? Where's that card? This one. No. Where's the one that brings back, uh... Oh, I think we... I don't think we picked it. Okay. Let's re-roll. <laughs> Unbroken Horn seems like it could be insane. Oh, yeah, the Impish Scholar. This dude. No. Where is it? Oh, right here. I mean... Okay, we're poor, but we're strong. So... I'd rather be strong and poor than the opposite. 15 armor. Frick. 15 armor is a lot. Fifteen armor is a lot. I don't I don't think we can deal with fifteen armor right now. This guy has sweep and lifesteal. That really blows, because he kills your morsels. But I guess when he's in there, your morsels don't really matter anyway, right? I don't think we can do fifteen armor. <laughs> something something salad. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. 150 coins is a lot, but, you know, whatever. Well, Morsel Miner. Trample destroys these guys. Plus five, plus five. <laughs> Look 
could our hamper? <laughs> this is going to be insane. Plus, this is going to get carried. Oh, this is going to be this is going to be fun. OK, I think I'm going to start uh, this dude here. And then if we get an ascension card, we'll just throw this dude up into the second floor. I think. Uh, probably shouldn't have played that. And we're just going to start building that damage stack again. Going to have Ember out the wazoo. That's how I like it. I like my wazoo to be Ember filled. Okay. Okay. Let's go to town. Let's go to town. Do I just put this dude at the top? Or do I put him down here? Or do I put him behind this... You know what? I think I put him behind this damage block. Oh, I can't. He's too fat. He's too fat. Go here for the gold. And then... Even if I torch these guys, it's we're not really getting any benefit out of it unless I can kill them all. Because his attack's going to be eaten up. And then his trample is already affecting this guy. So I think we could just save the ember here. I could torch this guy for a little bit of damage, but I'm just going to save it. Feed this big bone. No, you're right. That's true. It's a bit rude, eh? Call them fat. That's right. That's true. Oh, okay. I'm actually going to put our... <laughs> okay. 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 We're in, a, we're in a good spot. Let's not screw this up royally. That is going to make these guys stronger, but do we care? Put our morsel maker behind this guy, and we're just we're building up that that damage block, right? I could morsel maker behind the top dude as well. That's gonna get us more ember now because it's our second unit. This is getting out of control. What what's the boss again? The sap. I think we can deal with that. I really feel like we can deal with that. Now, I don't want to descend these guys because uh, A, we'd be too full, and B, he wouldn't be in the front, and we want him in the front. Lifesteal, these are nice. Yep. Guy's taking 31 here. It's not quite enough. Okay. You would do two morsel makers in row two. The problem with that is that you're 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 capped on space in row two, right? So like right now they're full with these two dudes. Imagine replacing uh, a morsel maker here. I don't think these can overfill your capacity, right? So you would have a morsel maker in this spot, and they would only put one in here. So I actually don't think that helps a lot. Unless I, unless I don't... Oh, it can overfill. Oh. Okay. Okay, fair enough. Good to know. This is just disgusting. This is disgusting. This guy still dies. Do I just go all in and just give this guy, like... Just do it? Okay, well that's good to know. I don't think I I don't think I knew that about the overstacking.
If I play this, then I can only uh, give him one there. What's up? Thank you, dragons. Appreciate that, man. Yeah, no, I know you can have up to seven units. Fully, fully aware of that. Um, what I didn't know is that these morsel makers could overstuff the floor. That I didn't know. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. We got the imp. Okay. We still have the Ascend card coming in the next in our next draw. So I'll probably send up our big fat dude in the next round. Play this for the heal. Play this one for the uh, Primal Dust. Play Primal Dust on this guy, so he's got 15 damage block. I mean... Does it matter where he goes? I'll put him in front here. We could give uh we could give three rage. And then do an extra four damage block. Oh no, I can't. No, I can't. Forget it. <laughs> okay, so we're already already dealing 450. Finally this shows up. But I can ascend. And he's going to go to the back, so it's like... Toast. Uh, I don't even think it matters what we do here. Sure, why not? Play the cash, yeah. I mean, it doesn't really do anything for us there, but... This second floor, nothing's getting past this 22 damage block. Like, it's... Ridiculous. All right. This run did not start well, but it is, uh, it's going pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. Okay, Crucible Extension. Now, uh, with the amount of Ember we're drawing, this could actually be nice. I don't love this, even though we do have a lot of Ember. I think we have other, wa other ways to get these things that we don't really need to do. I could go another Ember Cache, so we have a higher chance of this happening, but do I need Ember like that? I don't think so. I don't know. Let's do, um... Let's do Crucible Extension. See how that plays out. Inferno is okay. I could grab another one of these dudes. This is a higher chance of getting this thing back. Ember Drain plus Frozen. Very powerful last turn on boss. Yeah. No, I agree. I agree with you. That's, in my opinion, the right way to use them. Okay. So, in this scenario, we're going to... Not take the Pyre Health. We'll go to the Cavern. See what that gives us. Actually, ah, I screwed up. We should have upgraded a unit here, because if this is copy a card thing, I'm going to be real pissed. Oh, no. Okay, we're good. 25 Pyre Health. For 150 coins. We do get them back every time we play uh, these dudes.
Let's see what happens. So let's get rid of our train stewards here. See you later, alligator. <laughs> I mean... Maybe here, but even that, even still, like, is that just kind of wasted because we're going to build damage shield on him? That's kind of a tough one. Do I just make him, like, do I just make him the fattest fat that ever fatted? Two, two times large stone? <laughs> I haven't done it before. Uh... He's so he's gonna be so fat though. You have 28 hours in this game and you blame me. Sorry, man. Okay, I'm just gonna make him the fattest he could be. We'll see. I, I'm tempted to re-roll here too. If I re-roll, uh, hold on. What's coming up down here? I don't have a pyre health down here. We do have artifacts on this side. Hell vents, where I could duplicate that guy, maybe. But the concealed caverns is always kind of fun. Can't really afford to upgrade on 200 gold. Even 280 is like, eh, it's okay. But this would let us get rid of our other train stewards as well. Don't fat shame. Oh, I'm not. I'm like, I'm like pro fat. <laughs> I'm pro fatty. Like if anything, his value goes up in my book because he's so huge. I think I'm going to save my gold here. You have such a big deck. Not the first time I've heard that. Okay, multi-strike. Scourge cards. We, uh... We only have 30 cards. It's not that bad. I feel like 25 to 30 is... Pretty good. Over... Like, when you get to, like, the 35 range... A little scary. See, that's disgusting. Because we already get the, uh... The extra ember right off the bat. Like, it's not even... It's not even fair. Okay, well, Trample doesn't help me here. Okay, now... Here's one downside. If I put the Morsel Maker in here... I, I, I don't have space for my fat Demon Fiend. He takes up a whole deal. So I pretty much need to get this card. I need to get this to, to make space for, for my fat guy. Speak of the devil. There he is. <laughs> we did get the Crucible extension, though. So, like, if there's a time and a place to play it... Ooh. Ooh. Ooh! I'm seeing... I'm seeing an option here. I'm seeing an option. The problem is, okay, so what we really want, the card we really, really need is this dude. We need the Crucible Warden. Okay? This guy is fine and dandy. But without the damage block, he still will die. And I can't get him damage block. Um, but what we could do... 
If I play... If I play Crucible Extension... Let's say I put it, like... Maybe I put him on the top floor. Or even here. Whatever, because then he'll one-shot this thing. But if I put him in here... I could ascend... The Morsel Maker up here. Wait for our other Morsel Maker to play on that bottom floor and hopefully have, uh... Where is it? What? Where is our, uh, dude? The one I was just talking about. This guy. Hopefully get him. You know? Oh, you know, I thank you so much. Appreciate that. It was very glamorous to be large and pasty a couple hundred years ago. Hey, man. It's, it's still good. Fatty McFat. Go. Uh. Oh, I can't even play this. I don't have the... I don't have the... I don't have the ember. Look how big this guy is. This is ridiculous. Okay, whatever. Can't wait to unlock the last plan. Me too. Is it fun? How does it compare to the, the previous four? There it is. There it is. There it is. There it is. Oh boy. I gotta kill one. This guy's dealing six. Okay. It's it's weird, like how? Like what do you mean? Like, has it got a whole new mechanic that's gonna melt my brain, or what? Okay, so we're building up some damage block. I have to play all of these, which sucks, but... Thank God we have so much Ember. I can Morsel Maker here now. And you guys were saying that it will overstuff the room, so I'm happy about that. Uh... I think I'll just save the Ember here. Melt? A melt mechanic? Okay. I don't know if that's the one that I want. But we do have two impish scholars, right? I don't think we need that. Okay. First three are super straightforward. Yeah, no, they, they definitely were. When I unlocked this one uh, yesterday, or when I first played this one yesterday. It felt like a totally different game. And still does. Okay, so now... These things are so annoying. You know what? I'm just going to put this in here. I'm not getting as much damage block as I would like, uh, which might turn out to be a problem. 
But we still haven't gotten our big damage block card, so I have to imagine we're going to get that in the next two hands. Chances are pretty good. But we're taking a shitload of pyre damage. God, see these things... Yeah, here we go, though. Okay. Now, I think I apply it here. Right? I think we apply it here. Can't wait to finish unlocking everything and then fully commit to breaking that Covenant rank 7. I found the Covenant's, um... So far, I feel like it's a... a nice, like, escalation. It's not too crazy. Okay. So we're dealing 306 here, but I don't think he can do anything on this floor. What if I just descend everything right now? <laughs> uh, how? Okay. So you can only have seven on a floor, right? There's already five here. So how does it decide which ones are going to go down if I descended them all? Descend and we'll see. What if that destroys my run? Okay, so it pulls from the front. It pulls from the front. That's good to know. See ya. Later, Vin. What do I recommend for a VR console? I mean, it depends on your cost, but um, if you can get the, uh, the Valve Index, it's like by far and away the best one. Trample could be real nice on our super mega fat fat. Could be really nice. I think, I think we take this. Now, I'm actually tempted... I'm actually tempted to take the, uh, the extra draw because we have so much Ember. But the space could be nice, too, because we're seeing some limitations, especially with Fatty McFat over here. And, uh, this dude. Thanks, Stark. Appreciate that. Space for the fact fight. <laughs> Come on, man. Don't call him that. That's aggressive. Let's take the space. I think it's I think it's the right call. Ah, pyre health. <sighs> okay. So I come over here. We duplicate the fatty, obviously. And then we uh Unstable Vortex to remove the train stewards. <laughs> if I duplicate this guy, though... Actually, you know what? I think I duplicate the Crucible Warden. Let's be honest. That's the, that's the right call there. Train stewards. See you later. I can make a decent call for getting rid of some of the Scorch Guards, too, but... Uh, let's do the champion upgrade first. I mean... <laughs> I don't know. I... These are both good. They're both good. But the extra capacity here, we get plus six because this triggers twice. Right?
But damn. 75 trample? Maybe that's even overkill. This is nice, but we end up putting somebody in front of him anyway. I think I'm going to take the... Let's take the space. This is getting out of control, actually. Uh, let's check the artifact. Um, I'm going to take the 50% because it applies to every floor. And then we'll take this guy and duplicate him. Will this be on YouTube? Yes, sir. Enemy units enter with 20 armor. This guy, 160 plus 20. Multi-strike. Uh, five. And if we have that piercing, the horn break, we can kill it, but... This is so much gold, though. So much gold. What do you think? That's a tough call, man. 20 armor is no joke. Like, we just... I mean, he hits for 60. He hits for 80. Maybe we just do it. I'm doing it. <sighs> I'm going to regret this, probably. Frick! Okay. Got dazed. I mean, we kind of have the... Uh, we have the decent setup already. Now, hold on. If I put this guy in front... Now, these guys aren't attacking. So, he would still take the 10 times 2, though, which I can't really deal with. Um, I could kill this guy, actually. We're dealing 83 there, which is not quite enough. Uh, we're not going to play this, dude. Man, if these guys get to the top... Well, if he gets to the top, we would take 28. But we still have other cards that can maybe kill this guy. And we still have super fatty fat. Didn't get any of them. Oh, here though. That's lucky. That is lucky. And I think we put the Morsel Maker down here. Uh, this guy needs five. Nothing that I can really do about that. Let's start feeding him. <laughs> the fact that he's living here. Is pretty good. We're going to lose this dude. I don't think we need the energy. I could use this to tank it and save this Morsel Miner. And I could put three damage on something. I'm nervous, you guys. I'm honestly pretty nervous here. I need the fatties, like, now. There we go. There's one. So I've put him in here. He does 80, so he kills this dude. Uh, I cannot Morsel Maker there, though. This dude's gonna die, which is actually really bad. Uh, I can put I can put a unit in front of him. Even if I put this guy up top, I can't kill this dude.
Hmm. So I, I have to put I have to put one morsel in front of this guy to tank this attack. These other ones are dazed. If I put another morsel maker in here, then he's gonna start getting four damage shields. And if these guys go up, so we're doing 40. Ugh, this guy, it's a lot of health, man. This too. That's a lot that we're taking. But I don't know what the alternative is. I'm not in a position to kill these guys at all. I think I got to put my big fatty fat up top. And then I put my morsel maker down here. Uh, bring in another thing of morsels. Put one in front of this guy. So at least we only take eight from this guy. We still have some of those other cards to heal. These vengeful shards. Oh, wait a sec. Why why is he not being saved here? What am I missing? Can't attack. Can't attack. Why is he dying here? Oh, shit. He's dealing to okay, that's fine. Okay, that's fine. I can put another one in front. I have the space. Oh no, I can't! Shit. Shit, shit, shit. Okay. Well, the good news is that we still have uh The good news is that we have another one, don't we? We have yeah, we have another one that we could put in there. So he's gonna die. Ah, oh, yeah, that's too bad. That's too bad. Right, right, right. Okay, what if... What if I descended these units... Oh, it doesn't matter because they're going to go behind, right? They're going to go to the back, which doesn't help me because I want to avoid killing this guy now. But I can't, really. That kind of sucks. Um, this guy will... The, our champion's still going to get really strong off of all these morsels. Oh, but you know what's going to happen? Because of all these morsels, we might not be able to put one of these in front. Yikes. We're in a pretty rough spot here, guys. A pretty rough spot. Okay, well. Oh, I could I could torch my own morsels. Yeah, that's true. That's true. There's my other crucible warden. See, but here's the problem. So now, if I want to put him somewhere, trample is nice up there. So we go trample on the big boy, right? We do this, our pyre heals a bit, which is gonna be necessary. Uh, I can go crucible extension somewhere, but I don't have a safe place to play this warden. Uh, I would have to get... I would have to, what would I do here? Ooh, this we're in a really tough spot, you guys. We're in a really tough spot. I 
I mean, we're obviously going to apply trample here. But now it's a matter of what I do with these guys, because I can't play him here. If I play him here, then I can't build up the damage shield. Because I won't have uh, I won't have the extra slots to put anything in there. And if I play him here, then he just dies. And I can't play this card on this floor because we're just reaching the unit limit. So I think we have to pass these. I think we pass these and hope that he comes up again. We are in trouble. We're in trouble deep, you guys. Ooh. <laughs> this could save us. This could save us. Wait, can it? I don't even think this can save us. I think we're still dead. Because even if I put this on, yeah, he blocks the damage, but it, it's not like ongoing here. These guys are going to deal uh, 28 damage to the Pyre, right? But then the Pyre will one-shot them. These guys are all dazed. That's positive. It's this that we can't deal with. I think we're screwed. I think I'm screwed. I can't see a way out. Give him rage three. Ah, I think we're screwed. I think we're toast. There's nothing I can do. As the, this guy's gonna get through regardless. God damn it, chat. We lost it. It was going so well. Maybe that armor, maybe that armor challenge dicked us. Damn it. Rip. That's too bad. Yeah, you can't you can't put your dudes into the uh you can't put your dudes into the pyre. Not bad. It was still an interesting run. We started, we almost lost like right at the beginning. So I'm actually pretty happy with the way it went. Okay, now this is new. Inert. This unit cannot attack unless it has fuel. What? Okay. Attacks an additional time each turn. Is gorge that he gains fuel. And then fuel negates inert. That's so weird. You could have ascended the first enemy. Yeah. You can ascend the... 
you can ascend the first enemy into the pyre. Oh. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. Because you didn't look at the chat. Yeah, I try not to look at the chat a lot uh, in those kind of scenarios because then it just gets like back CD, right? This is okay. That's okay. I feel okay about that run. I feel okay about it. But yeah, maybe that would have saved us. But then even that next run, we wouldn't have been able to we wouldn't have been able to stop the boss on the first level, so those guys would still ascend and we would be we would probably lose anyway. But <laughs> he doesn't trust us. No, I do actually trust you guys. I do. Look at Kaz, rank eight. Pfft. Vinny really fell off. He stopped progressing a lot. Uh, Amuga, 7. Luckless, 1. Splattercat. Cowboy, 5. Not bad. Okay. 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 Here's the run summary if you guys are interested. We'll do another one. Do you guys want to do like a... Uh, do you guys want to do like a Twitch plays? So we'll do... Um, we'll do... Uh, any cards that pop up? Like the choice cards? Then you guys can pick. We'll just have a quick vote for like left or right. And I'll just kind of go based on what is prevalent in the chat. Here it is. Males Hardware Trustees. Okay. 